Student engagement is a necessity when online teaching, and it needs to be done differently when you're teaching online versus in person. When you're teaching online, student engagement means more than just screen sharing and video calls. For five different ways that you can use EdTech to increase the student engagement in your online classroom, keep watching. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Inkno. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how different EdTech tools can increase the student engagement in your classroom. For more tips on using EdTech in the classroom, hit subscribe. All right, so let's get started on these five different tips. Plus, at the end, I have one tip that all teachers should implement when they're online teaching. Tip number one is to use icebreakers at the beginning of your lessons. Icebreakers are a fun activity designed to introduce and acquaint students with one another or a brand new topic. These can be beneficial in your classroom because they'll allow students to get comfortable with a new topic and with each other, along with creating a productive learning environment. There are many different tools out there for you to use to implement icebreakers into your lessons. For example, you can use videos with Flipgrid or the word cloud question type in ClassPoint. This will allow you to receive real-time feedback from your students during any of your presentations. Tip number two is to annotate on your slides or any page that you have open. You no longer have the whiteboard or the smart board in front of your students to write on, so annotating on your screen is the perfect substitute. You can add notes to any page that's open, highlight any information that's important, and also add some more information to what's there on the screen. This will give your students a direct visual point to look at instead of just listening to what you have to say. If your device doesn't support touchscreen capabilities, I highly recommend the One by Wacom. This tablet has everything a teacher needs at a very good price point. It doesn't come with a whole bunch of extra features or technical aspects that will get you confused. For more information on using this tablet with PowerPoint, you can check out the video that's linked in the description below. Tip number three is to implement group activities into your lesson. Allowing students to collaborate with one another gives them the ability to learn and grow from each other and also develop their communication and thinking skills. So you might be thinking, how can I do this group activity work when I'm online teaching? And the answer is actually quite simple. You can use breakout rooms. Breakout rooms is a feature that both Zoom and Teams have for their video calls. This feature allows you to easily split up your students into groups and it puts them in a room for them to work together through a group project. When the group discussion work is complete, you can bring all of your students back into your main call and discuss as a class. And it's as if you guys were all in a classroom together. Tip number four is to add in quick polls and exit tickets into your lesson. Quick polls quickly provide a real-time update on how your students are doing during the lesson. This will help you to teach better and keep students actively engaged and on their toes, since they never know when you might ask them a question. Exit tickets are questions that you ask at the end of class to give students a review of the lesson and also provide you with some insight on what information they've retained. If you are a PowerPoint user, you can implement both of these types of questions into your lesson with ClassPoint. ClassPoint allows you to add in quick polls at any time during your lesson with the click of a button. ClassPoint also has a variety of question types that you can use for your exit tickets, so feel free to change it up. The last tip I have for you guys, tip number five, is to gamify your lessons. Adding in some gamification to your lessons will motivate your students to stay interactive and stay engaged. It's really a win-win because they like to play the games and you get real-time feedback from your students on how they're doing. There are many different websites and applications out there for you to find to insert games into your lessons. However, a really easy way is the class point competition mode. Competition mode will allow you to insert the games right into your PowerPoint presentation, so that way you never have to leave PowerPoint. No back and forth between many different applications. Competition mode will score and rank your students based on how accurately and how fast they answer your questions. 
So every question gives students the opportunity to move up to first place. So you can enjoy playing with your students and let me know how you like it. But wait, I have one more bonus tip for all of you. Of course, when you're online teaching, having your cameras turned on is a necessity. So next time you're on your team's call, try out together mode. Together mode puts your students into a classroom type setting instead of just the squares on your screen. So it's a little bit different, but can make you feel like you're teaching in a classroom again and not online. So give it a try and let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked any of the tips and the tools that I mentioned, you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.